is Priyanka Sharma from MLAIT team. Today I am here with my very first video and hope so that you will like it on Google Cloud Platform. I hope that you all know that what actually a Google Cloud Platform is. If you aren't aware about it, then it's okay. I'm here to help you out with that. So let me begin with this video. So actually a Google Cloud Platform also known as GCP as an abbreviation is a platform which is provided by Google and it actually does that it provides you with cloud services and other than cloud services you can have many other things using Google Cloud Platform like APIs and services, support, the security functions, app engine, compute engine, compute engine virtual machines and please kindly note that word like virtual machine I'm gonna tell you this thing in very detail then coming to storage networking stack driver monitoring tools and etc many other things you can visit this console and you can find many other things related to google cloud platform so today i will tell you the very basic thing that is virtual machine what is a virtual machine a virtual machine lets you to run different os in your systems or i can say it creates a physical device in which you can run your different OS. It accepts everything like flavors of Linux too, like uh, Ubuntu, Red Hat, Core OS, Debian. And other than Linux, it also supports Windows Server on Google's infrastructure. Then, now coming to the uh, lab, I can say the lab, I am going to tell you to create a virtual machine. There are two ways. And what we are going to do today is all the two ways through which we can create a virtual machine. First one, through Activate Shell like uh, G Cloud command line and the other one is, is directly, directly from, from Compute, Compute Engine. engine. We, we can see here, here with this one. From, from here, here we can create VM instance, instance also, also known as Virtual, virtual Machine Instance. instance. So, so let, let me begin with the, the hands-on hands lab. lab before entering into this console we need to add our account of our gmail or something else you can create a new account also as your choice and let me tell you one thing that it costs something so before beginning to your console you can really think that what are your actual needs through this so as per your needs you can uh, pay the money and you can use this so let me begin with uh, this one you have to as i said you before that you have to log in your account and then this console will be open after that we have to create an project you can name anything i have named this i had already created this so you can see that after that click open I mean after new project you have to open that I'm just cancelling it I don't need that so as per your choice you can open or you can cancel this just it is naming your project so that it would be a ease to find out what you did next let me tell you the actual creation of VM starting from compute engine go to compute engine then go to VM instant this will take some time to open just wait for it then click create yeah here we go this is the console main console of VM we have to edit the name name is as per your choice as they are mentioned that lowercase and no spaces so we should remember this one i am gonna name this with gce lab just for my convenience you can name it as per your choice and this should be a unique name so remember this then we have to select a region i'm making it default as us central one and this one as C then 
we have to select the memory the machine type I'm sorry the machine type which you want your data to be stored so we should I'm taking for one we CPU then this is for the boot disk let us let us leave it as default then firewall allow HTTP traffic and then click create this is creating let's hide info panel we don't need that wait until here the loading one gets into a green color that means that the VM has been created yes this one as you can see the green tick mark this is this instance is running when you hover on that button or we can say the symbol this instant is running will be shown there after that we have to go to SSH which means secure shell we have to click on that this will open a new tab or a new window wait until it gets connecting now we are gonna make a nginx server a web server one of the most popular web servers in the world to connect your virtual machine to something to something remember that to something okay then we have to wait this is the console now we have to get root access so we will write a command as sudo su space hyphen then press enter and as a root user this root you can see this root one so as a root user we have to update our OS so we will add a comment like apt get update then press enter it is taking time and it's done now now we have to install nginx so we will write another command like apt get install ng in nx space y now press enter it is getting installed wait while it's getting installed then we have to check whether the nginx is running or not so for checking purpose we will write another command like ps a u w x space grep ng next then press enter now we got the output let's see this one in the web page so we will close or or else we can minimize this and go to our console and we have to once again refresh this page so that we can see the external IP address wait while it is getting refreshed I'm sorry the server is little bit slow so I can't get connected and now we are done with it we have to click on this external IP so I mean then open a new tab and copy paste the link there and press enter 
the main server i mean the main page you should see is this one welcome to nginx this is done if you are done with up to this then as per the written things i mean the things which is written here the nginx web server is successfully installed and working you are at a great approach i can say then after this we can make this was done up to connecting the vm with your web server and also creating a vm through compute engine now i will go for another option and that is from the activate cloud shell what you have to do is just go wait for a while just go to activate cloud shell this will take some time to get open wait up till that now let's write our one and only command through which we can create an instance that's g cloud compute instances create gce lab 2 as we named it before as gcp gce so we are uh, naming it as gce lab 2 then select the zone as us central 1 c the name of the instant is gc lab 2 and the zone which we have selected before the zone 1 is this us central 1 c now we have to click enter This will take some time to get created. This is taking some time to get opened. We have to wait until that and yes, we are done with this this message the created one as you can see helps us to know that the virtual machine is created let's check out that where mar vm is created let's go to vm instances and yeah here we go so as you can see there are two labs i mean two vms gc lab one sorry the gc lab which was created through compute engine console or we can say the cloud console and the other one was gc lab two it was g cloud command line interface so friends this was it from me thank you and stay connected